Hi everyone, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying one of my go-to flies, and that is the Frenchie. The Frenchie is a variation of a pheasant tail. So, let's get started. Start out with tying on some red thread. Snipping off the tag end. And we're going to put on a little bit of lead wire. So I'm going to take the lead wire, insert it into the slot of the tungsten bead, take a few wraps to really tie it down, and then we're going to begin wrapping it behind the wire, which, as you can see, pulls the thread further back down the fly so you can tie it off. Whoops, there we go. All right, now we're gonna tie in some Coke de Leon for our tailing material. And since this is a size 14 fly, we're gonna take about five or six, five or six fibers. And right that, that's about the length of the body, so that's how much we're going to have hanging off the back. Spin up that bobbin. And now, bring it on top. Oh, whoops. There we go. And now at this point we can adjust the length of the tailing fibers. Alright, that's looking pretty good. All right, now I'll snip off this excess material. The next step is now we are going to take our copper wire that we're gonna use later for some ribbing and tie that on in. Alright, our last material for this fly that we need is we're going to tie in some of our pheasant tail. We're going to tie this in by the tips because these are pretty brittle to, to hold on to when you're wrapping. So we're going to tie those guys in to the fly. All right, now that we got it attached, we're gonna give it a few little spins so you can tighten it on up. And then we're gonna begin wrapping it up. Be careful not to hit the uh, hit the tip of the hook with your pheasant tail. It is a it is pretty brittle material, so you don't wanna you don't wanna hit it. And believe me, I've I've broken a, a lot of pheasant tail fibers that way. All right, now that we got it to the top, you can now tie it on off. You're reaching your scissors, and now get a little snip. Now you can take a few tight wraps to really bind it on down. Next, we're going to take our copper wire and we're going to counter wrap it so it's so it pops a little bit more amongst the pheasant tail fibers because otherwise if we're wrapping the same way it would lay down in between the fibers and kind of be covered up so. all right now that we got it to the top we're going to take our few wraps And now we're gonna helicopter it off free. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now for our last step, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn turn the light down a little bit so you can see our good old ice dub 
fluorescent hot pink ice stub. This is just gonna give the fly a little bit of a little bit of color. Because right now it's a pre it's pretty dull. We got a little bit of copper on there, but we want it to stand out amongst everything else that's flowing on the river. So just gonna take a little bit of pink ice dub and create a short little dubbing noodle. Remember you don't need much, we're just making a collar, so you really don't need that much. Even I have probably put on a little bit too much here, but we'll see. Alright. Now we're gonna wrap it on up. Alright. That's honestly all you probably need. Then we're gonna make a little red collar up in front of it. Just like that. And there right there, you have a Frenchie. So now our last and final step is to give a little bit of whip finish on and tie it off so you can finish up this fly. And snip tag end off. Put our little bit of head cement on to make this fly really durable. Perfect. And there you go. We have ourselves a Frenchie. You can snip off these little excess ice dubs, but guess what? That gives the, the fly a really buggy look and it will present really well in the water. Well, thanks for watching.